Here we go. Here we go for a very special unboxing. This isn't one uh, I'd usually be doing, but this past uh, Christmas holiday season, for those that don't celebrate Christmas, uh, Funko did actually something pretty cool. Um, for anyone who had a annual subscription, I think. I don't know if it's anyone who had an annual subscription, but anyone who's been getting some of these boxes for at least a year, uh, it, they sent them out one of the other subscription boxes. So let's say if you only got Marvel's Collector's Core, maybe they sent you Legion of Collectors. Uh, if you have Legion of Collectors, vice versa. So for me, actually, they sent me Smuggler's Bounty. Um, I actually have no idea what the theme is for this month's Smuggler's Bounty. Loyalty Resistance. I guess this one might be for um, Rogue One, maybe. I'm not sure, which I am very disappointed in myself that I still have not seen Rogue One. I really need to do that. But anyways, let's get to this Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. I've actually been interested in these boxes, just never got in myself, because as much as I do love Star Wars, I don't necessarily consider myself a huge Star Wars fan. Like, I don't geek out over it like I do some other things. So, first things first. We have our patch, which is BB-8. Then it says Resistance. Um, I don't know what, what it says on the other side. I'm assuming it might say Resistance in another language, an alien language, a Star Wars language. And then we have our pin, which is a uh, X-Wing pilot. Nice. I like it. A Rebellion pilot. Because I don't necessarily think he had to be X-Wing to wear that suit. Just be any pilot of the Rebellion. Alright, but let's open this up. I'm liking that shirt already, but we'll put that off to the side. Um, Alright, come on. This box is a little awkward. So, first things first. We have an R2-D2, I think it is? R2-D2 mug. I have so many mugs these days because of Funko. Oh man, I really need to start drinking more coffee. I almost bought myself like a two cap, or no, it was Spider-Woman. It was the Spider-Gwen pop. They were Funko, Spider-Gwen. Actually, these weren't Spider-Gwen. These are just Funko or just Spider-Gwen mugs. I bought, almost bought two of them the other day because they were Spider-Gwen and they look really cool. And they were buy one, get one 50% off. But uh, yeah, I kind of showed a little bit of restraint there. Anyways, so we have a C-3PO mug right there. It's uh, nice. I like it. Definitely like it. It's very bright. Much brighter than it looks on the box. On the box, it actually looks kind of lame and uh, pale. So I'm glad that it's not actually like the box makes it look. And then we have a uh, Chewbacca figure. Chewbacca, who uh, he got the feels. He got the most feels during the movie. I oh, look at that, Chewbacca with his bow caster. I like it. And it looks good, it looks good. So I guess these are just Force Awakens. It's just a Force Awakens pop. Um, it means Smuggler Bounty inclusive. That, one thing I actually do like about the Star Wars pops is if you look at all the Star Wars pops, they have a little black base that says Star Wars on them, which is really cool. I found out that the reason is because of some licensing thing that technically these aren't just vinyl pops like the DC ones are. It's actually a bobblehead, plus it's on the stand for licensing reasons. I don't 100% uh, understand why, but that's the reason. Now, let's get to our t-shirt. So our t-shirt is, let's see there. Open it up. Okay, yeah, so this definitely is the Force Awakens. Um, we have a Force Awakens t-shirt with Ray, Finn, Poe, our BB-8, uh, Han, and Chewie, and then the Millennium Falcon. Looks actually pretty cool. And you actually see the uh, X-Wing fighter in the back too. Oh god, no, no, no. There it is. Ha, got it to stand. So yeah, there's the, uh, oh, well, let me take, let me take Chewie out actually. So I can really display him. So I can properly display him. All right. I always find it uh, a little difficult to open these up because I'm scared that I'm going to rip these uh, corners off when I try to open it. Oh, no. Now I'm actually glad I opened up the Chewy because not only is he Chewbacca on a stand with a bowcaster, but he's furry. 
He's a flock chewy. I love that already. Oh, he's so flocked and soft. Oh, it's so cute. There we go. But so there is our smuggler's bounty. Um, actually, some of the, I've seen like what smuggler's bounty. Okay, sorry, Red Hood. Um, you, you go over there. Uh, I've seen actually some of the other smuggler's bounty stuff, and they're pretty cool. Like one month, they have I don't remember what it was, but it was for Empire Strikes Back. And the pop that they had in there was a uh, Han. It was a pop ride. It was Han on top of the, I can't remember what that animal is, but the one that got cut open and then Luke stuffed inside there. But moral of the story is, the, actually the, the pops they make are pretty cool. So yeah, it's a flock Chewbacca. Haha, <laughs> it's nice. But yeah, um, I don't necessarily think Smuggler's Bounty is something I would actually subscribe to. Probably doesn't help that I already get two monthly subscribers. Well, no, I get two from Funko, plus my Loot Crate, plus Loot Gaming, which I really should cancel Loot Gaming. I don't even know what this com I mean, coming month's theme is. But anyways, Smuggler's Bounty does seem cool if, you know, you don't get one of the Loot Crates or one of the uh, monthly boxes already. Or if you're a huge Star Wars fan and just want it, I'm definitely saying it sounds like something good to get. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video, share it, subscribe, leave a comment. But yeah, thanks for watching.